Well, President Biden today detailed several executive actions that he's taking in an attempt to stop gun violence across our country. And two news reporter Matt and Ashley is here live with reaction to some of the president's new plans. Mark, some people I spoke with feel President Biden is serious about fighting gun violence. Today, the president calling recent mass shootings in America an epidemic and a national embarrassment. He says he's focused on tightening gun control to help save lives. Restrictions to homemade gun kits are ghost guns, placing pistols modified with stabilizing braces under the National Firearms Act and strengthening extreme risk protection laws, all a part of President Biden's plan to fight gun violence. I'm happy that somebody is taking initiative and being a leader. You know, you know, he like he said, he's not opposing the Second Amendment, but just the, the action that he's calling for is, is a step forward. And I'm that is glad. I'm glad to hear that. Calling it a public health crisis, President Biden says an average of 316 people are shot in the U.S. each day, with 106 dying. Gun violence in this country is an epidemic and it's an international embarrassment. And for him to take this initiative is, is wonderful. We've been waiting for a long time for somebody to stand up and say some of these things. But not everyone is sold that President Biden's actions will help. You know, the other large portion of gun deaths is through common criminals killing each other and killing uh, bystanders also. And again, gun regulations don't affect those people because they live outside the law anyways. After announcing gun control plans, people say they hope President Biden sticks with fighting for the cause. They, they tend to talk about a subject when it's hot and then when it's not happening, they go back to the other subject. But so just stay in tune and, and keep pushing for the change. Along with gun control initiatives, President Biden took time to nominate gun control advocate David Chipman to be the alcohol, tobacco, firearms and explosives senior policy advisor, a position which hasn't been filled on a full time basis since 2015. I'm the studio, Madeline Ashley, 2 News working for you.